Imagine this. A city built into a monolithic cavern in an almost endless desert. A bright, beautiful city, alive with markets, streets, lights, and people. Imagine a modern-day Rome, a Rome built in the earth. This city, the inhabitants called Cairn, referring to the stone that the city was made of. Now, imagine the city in its prime and in all its glory, housing a secret, a dark secret, a secret that was its ultimate downfall. The city they had not built themselves, oh no. Before them, the cave had tribal inhabitants, hideous beings, truly. They were not humans by any means. Close, but not close enough. The people who planned on living in this ideal, already beautiful cavern had no wish to live with these beings. But they did not know the cavern as the tribals did. So the leader of these human travelers thought of an idea. To gain the trust of these tribals, to learn this unfamiliar territory, the humans decided to test this idea. Unfortunately for the tribals, it worked. It happened all at once. The women and children were first. Using whatever they could find, rocks, bricks, and other blunt objects, the humans smashed their heads in, broke their bones, and destroyed their homes. The men were all that was left. They were imprisoned and forced into slavery. Forced to build the monuments to these people, of these people, and for these people. And when they were finished, they were slaughtered. Their blood spilled into the streets. But these tribals did not tell the humans everything. Oh no. And that is why the humans did not know of what else resided in the cavern. What these tribals revered as their god. The Alakatir. A creature with skin as black as night, but eyes the color of the whitest clouds. A creature that sensed death and smelled life. A creature with hatred for these humans. Hatred for them because of the slaughter of its worshippers. And this creature wanted blood for blood. It started out as rumors between the people. A strange creature sighted on the outskirts. Nothing unusual for them. And then, people began going missing. Only to return several days later only for their minds to be completely absent and their eyes completely dull. This began to cause alarm within the city, and voices cried for these people to be sent into the desert to die. The council within the city hall met soon after to discuss this. No sooner had they decided to go with the rest of the city's thoughts and send the undesirables into the desert, there was a great rumbling. As they rushed out of the hall to see, they saw what the rest of their city was, screaming in terror. A rock slide had blocked the only way in, or out, of the cavern. Not long after the rock slide occurred, all of the lights citywide went out, and that is when the Alec Tear began to have its real fun. A single screaming noise began. This was enough to drive some mad that moment, and they began clawing at the rocks, ripping the fingers from their hands. All the while, the single scream became multiple screams. The older humans recognized them as the scream of the tribals. Most commit suicide soon after, but not all. Some thought to try and hide, to live out the rest of their days in the empty shell of the once great city. But the Alec Tear was not done yet with them. The survivors were unaware of its ability to smell life. In the pitch black darkness, the Alec Tear was invisible, save for its eyes. In the darkness it moved, almost as a wraith, smelling out the last life in the city. It moved towards the building the survivors were taking shelter in. Its very presence so nearby made one of them sick. And that was enough. Not long after, the sick one died very abruptly. This startled the rest of them, making them paranoid. And then the corpse started twitching and shaking. It began foaming from the mouth, and this was enough for the remaining survivors. 
As fast as they could, they fled the building. They ran and ran into the darkness, right into the waiting trap of the Alcatir. The city remains still standing in a long-forgotten desert. It remains deep under the sands and lost. Some believe the whispers continue, and as for the corpses, they became what they slaughtered and hated most. So deep underground that they have forgotten what the sun looks like, and have lost all need to see. But it seems in the nature of man to be the murderers, only soon after to become the murdered.